uh, the, the, how these different organizations are spelled and explain them each because you have three major intelligence gathering organizations in Israel. You start with the Mossad. What is it? Mossad means institute, by the way, and this is an institute for intelligence and special operations. So the Mossad is the foreign espionage arm. Compare it to the CIA. All right, go down here to the... Next one is Amman, Amman. right? Military intelligence. It's a Hebrew acronym. So it is the intelligence arm of the armed forces. As Yossi was saying, it in fact is the largest and most important. And then it says Shin Bet. Two Hebrew letters, initials for security services. That's the domestic agency, the, the equivalent of the FBI. Which one of the three is the most important? Oh, it would be Amman, Amman the military yeah. intelligence. Nothing is Why? more important than you're watching your Arab neighbors for actual movements of troops, how many tanks they have, where are the aircraft. All these other missions that we described are fascinating. And even getting, you know, thousands of Jews into the country is vital. But war, having a sign that war is coming, that's the key, and that's Amman's job. Which is the second most important. Uh, the Mossad. The problem with the uh, with the with Amman, with the military intelligence, is that it lives in the shadow of uh, the flamboyant Mossad. Uh, uh, it it can be compared to the to the same problem which is facing um, United States National Security Agency (NSA). It is the largest, the most important agency in the intelligence community. Yet the most imp the most famous one, which gets media attention is the CIA. The same is in Israel. The Mossad has become um, sort of a, a epitomizing the Israeli intelligence. But the most important agency is military intelligence. Mossad comes second and then you have uh, Shin Bet, uh, the Israeli equivalent to the FBI, in charge of uh, fighting um, terrorism, counter-terrorism, uh, subversion, um, trying to foil plots against the state of Israel, political plots and others. You tell the story about how you tried to find out what, the, what they call the Mossad when they deal with uh, I publicly? A, I thought it was a reasonable question, but the trouble is uh, you can't pick up the phone book. There's no uh, Langley in, the, in Israel that you can look up you know, CIA or in our case uh, the Mossad. We thought we should ask, what shall we call it in English? can translate the Hebrew words, as I said, Mossad is institute, but when they write a letter to their friends in the CIA or the British intelligence, what do they call themselves? It took a while. Uh, it was a matter of asking the prime minister's spokesman. The best you could do, because officially uh, the Mossad is under the prime minister's office. And uh, I think he sort of wondered why you want to know and all that, so we explained. And he came up with uh, the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. I mean, if it were to have initials, it would be ISIS. Just simple words like that. Interestingly enough, a kind of a British model. The British don't really like the names MI5 and MI6 for their foreign service. They